going on guys so i'm here with you guys on st patrick's day 2019 and i am super excited because corned beef and cabbage that means i'm so stoked and i can't believe that i just said stoked first off um i stopped drinking about six months ago so it's like a really exciting day because it's kind of like that big test you know it's uh i haven't drank uh in six months and this is my first st patrick's day without drinking so I think that this is going to be a real challenge and it's going to be a, a challenge I'm willing to accept. And just a little bit of background for my keto story. I think it's really important because I started this diet about three months ago and I've been, I haven't had a drink in about six and a half months. So after three and a half months, you kind of get like the itch to kind of drink again. You really want to do it. And then with this diet, that it doesn't promote like uh, beers and things like that. So it's really, uh, it kind of revitalized my motivation to not drink anymore. So I'm really excited to uh, continue with my keto diet, my keto journey. I want you guys to all be uh, with me on it. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'm eating tonight. And uh, hopefully uh, we, have, we have a great uh, St. Patrick's Day. So. Uh, this is the don't eat potato challenge and I am going to not eat potatoes. All right, have a good one guys. I ate potatoes. All right guys. So the truth about my St. Patrick's Day, it was one, a huge success and two, a huge failure. So my big failure for the day was that I ended up, by the way, I'm taking this video the day after St. Patrick's Day. Um, so the big failure was that I ate like a slob. I was potatoes, Irish soda bread. I went for it all. I, I didn't care. And, uh, you know what? Honestly, I could look back and say that I enjoyed it. And I had a little bit of a reason for a cheat day. Um, the big success was that I didn't have a sip of alcohol. I, uh, ended up having a very successful day as far as that's concerned. And, uh, being in a bar was uh, was okay for me. I was uh, okay. I'm really happy to say that I was able to avoid temptation, and uh, it uh, I looked like a hero because I was the driver. So uh, that was really good. But as far as the diet's concerned, I think this happens every time that I have a cheat meal. I get up, and the next day I'm like, man, I feel like garbage, and I immediately in my head think I lo I gained back all the weight that I lost. So I want to say that I, I didn't obviously I weighed in I weigh about two pounds more than I did the day before which is like whatever and uh, now it kind of got me back in the zone I, I realized that that's not the way I want to eat my stomach was killing me last night I guess uh, it was like a carb overload from what I'm used to and now I am ready to kick it back into high gear and be ready to just take on the world you know uh, I feel really good about myself for succeeding in one aspect of my life and now the other one is the uh the other aspect of my life that I'm really uh looking to uh continue to succeed at with the uh the keto diet. So I want everyone to look at that last video. Uh I mean like not the last video, but I guess like the last portion of my videos and see that I was gung ho about not cheating and understand cheat days happen. It all happens to us. We we grow from it and just uh to get more uh more uh, into it the next time. So uh, signing off, the Keto Kid.